and hello and welcome to the Alakazam Magic Magic Live Special. Now I'm joined by a very special guest, the legend Noel Porter. Hello, hello Alakazam. How well, are you? I'm alright. I'm too bloody hot. Bit hot. It is roasting. When we landed, yeah, the guy, the pilot, was literally like, just so you know, it drops to a cool 37 degrees Celsius. It's insane. It's like I've jumped into flash paper yeah. in my eyes. It's insane. <laughs> that was 9 p.m. It's insane. Uh, can I just say, though, uh, obviously it's a pleasure to have you here. I didn't realise how well recognised Noel is around the world. He's been having non-stop girls with feathers, police outfits, ask you for photos. It's isn't true. It? Honestly, I am wildly popular here. I might stay here if I don't expire from isn't my eyeballs insane? completely dehydrating. It's absolutely insane. But we are here, obviously, in Las Vegas for Magic Live. Apologies for the noise. I've asked them to turn it down, but they said no. It is honestly going to be amazing. Magic Live is a magic convention here in Las Vegas. Uh, it's not as big as Blackpool, but it sure as hell it's is It's pretty fun. massive, though, and it's crazy the amount of talented magicians that are oh here. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Isn't it? It's bad, honestly. It's, this is like Blackpool. You know when people say the Vegas, or Blackpool is the Vegas of the North? Yeah. This is the Vegas of the Vegas. This is yeah. proper madness. It is. It's so good, honestly. So, literally, yesterday was, we walked around. we done a Dad Be Lad, which you got involved in. Somewhat, yeah, somewhat. Yeah. So you're going to hopefully see that later on today. Um, yeah, I will just say though, the audio on it, we had our mics open at that, but for some reason it cut out. So the audio is not amazing on it. It may be no audio, it may be some audio. We're not too sure. But we'll see what Jamie works his magic with the audio. But that was very good. Then you looked up a nice barbecue joint. That was very I good. I did. We had a little bit of a treat. Went to a, uh, I was going to say a fancy barbecue place. Definitely wasn't a fancy barbecue place, but it was an amazing barbecue yeah. place called Rolling Smoke. If you're in, uh, in in Vegas, it was amazing. Yeah. And um, and it was great. And then I think roggie has been knocked sideways by it uh, today. Yes. But it, honestly, the food was banging. But yeah, so we are here on Fremont Street right now. Uh, we've obviously done some B-roll for you guys on the strip here and things like that. But we have picked up a really cool uh, thing that we're going to be doing on the stand, using on the stand, showing you guys demos and things like that, even sneak peeks of latest releases, all right? But make sure you are signed up to our socials, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the good stuff, because we're gonna be uploading tons of content throughout the uh, convention, all right? Brilliant. Well, enjoy the vlog, guys. See you later. So here we are again. Yes. Uh, we are educating Emma, <gasps> and uh, I get to choose this week. Oh, and I, please be kind. I'll be kind. I'll be kind. In fact, um, I had an idea of what I was going to choose for you next time I was asked to to get you ready for these sort of episodes. All right. So episodes. What? Yeah. Okay. For this segment, there we go. That's better. Dear, oh dear. Um, <coughs> this. Uh, so oh I my god, my... you're not even going to the easy shelf. No, 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 I, I've got it, I've got it. I think oh. that this week we are going to teach you how to do Killer Really Pro by Andy Nyman, all right? Uh, for those of you that have this effect, it's absolutely amazing and you are going to really love performing this and it's going to be really easy to teach you as well. So we're going to see Emma in a little while uh, while she learns Killer Elite Pro. Thanks. So here, We've got four of probably way up there in my top ten of hunky actors. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I had to get rid of three of them and have one survive, yeah. I want you to guess who my survivor would be. Right. So my favourite out of all of them, then, really. Okay. So what? What, what do you want? To I do? want you to put that on the one who you think is my favourite, who survives me shooting them all. You shooting them all? It's a bit harsh. Oh yeah. Well, what they'll have is this is like a bulletproof thing. So this chip will be in their wallet, and I shoot them through the heart. All oh, right, okay. But this chip will save one of them. And who am I going to give that bulletproof chip to? Okay. <clears throat> um, I think um, this one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to change your mind? No. Happy with the mind I've got. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. Okay, so if you'd have chosen Al Pacino, for example, yeah. he would have been shot dead. Right, okay. If you'd have chosen Michael Madsen, 
he would have been shot dead. Right. Oh, Johnny boy. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh. So you oh, get wow. right. Hey, well done. Or did oh, you read really my cool. mind? Oh, I think you read mine. Well, wow, that's really cool. <clears throat> well done. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Right, we're here at our stand. All right, obviously this is the best stand. Look, listen to this. Best. Let me turn. Wait, this is the best stand at Magic Live, isn't it? Look. So good. Yeah, I don't. Right. Isn't it so honestly? We sold out of a few goodies as well. Yeah. So, I'm about to do a wander because there's like a lecture thing on now, so now it's a bit quiet to do a wander around. So I'm gonna go for that. It sounds like it's getting loud. So yeah. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna literally run around like little Mo Farah yeah. right now. Okay. Let me uh, turn the camera around and we'll do a little wander. So let's go in. We have got. Is this just? It's kind of a weird camera angle, isn't it? I'm gonna be honest with you. Right. We got loads of goodies here. Look. Let me show you. We were over there. So that's us over there. We got all of these dealers. Let's have a look around here. So we got loads of books. There we go. Metal writing, cups and balls, Baker Magic. We got the Wow gimmicks over there, and obviously loads of other stuff. Got low, honestly, it's crazy in it. Look, let me turn it around. I'm gonna have to turn it around like this. Okay, look. Let me do it like this. TCC, the legends of Grandma's Miracle. Look. Cannot get enough of, honestly. Tannons. We've got stuff here. Larry Lock. Got close up mats. The best close up mats, honestly. They're so good. No creasing. None of that. All of these goodies here. Here we go. This is better this way around, isn't it? So we've got Trick Trick Boom. Noel and Roddy McGee. So creative, honestly. It's unbelievable. That's right. They're cool hats, actually. I've never seen them hats before. They're pretty neat. Look at that. We've got the card spiral for a cool photo. Illuminati, Paul Richards Magic has always got good stuff. I might actually ask Paul for a demo. Mark Mason, the man. Loads of goodies. Look at this, floating tables. SEO Magic, Cobra Magic, so much good stuff, honestly. It's unbelievable. Honestly, this is just brilliant here. I, I love it. And it's cool because you get to see dealers we've never seen before. Look at these posters. How amazing is this? Look. So cool. Look at all of these, it's brilliant. It's fantastic, isn't it? It looks, yeah, phenomenal. Henry Harriers, loads and loads. Bicycle, show, oh, they're nice. I've never seen them before, they're neat. Very nice. Yeah, loads of goodies, absolutely tons of goodies. But yeah, right, well, oh, hands oh, so much good stuff. I'll ask, I'll ask him for a demo. I'll try and get a video of anything we can do on there. I'll try and get a video dem for our socials. But yeah, hands and chairs got banging stuff. All good. Right. I will leave you be. Adios, my friends. Some time later. We've just been seeing uh, Penn and Teller. And we went backstage, said hello to everyone. And then we left. But people were still in there. But we've come out. But now we're locked in the theatre. The game shark. It's like a museum. museum. <laughs> it literally is. We can't get out of Peninsula's theatre. Okay, turn it so, around. What's that? We are stuck. How do I turn it? No, just you turn around. Just you turn. You just turn yourself around. <laughs> Not that. We're literally stuck. Let's play some more piano and get out of here. Right, come on, let's try and We're about to be evicted. Right, so if you don't see us back oh, at Alakazam... Wait, there's a Star Trek convention. Yeah. An actress that was in that has come up to us. And someone else, isn't it? Yeah, they two actresses. Our, they watch Unpacked. And yeah. they're There you go. Right. That's <laughs> <laughs> really bad. We couldn't get away out. Had to come and send us out. That's madness. Look, I'll show you what it was like. Look, we come out here. Look. How can we get out? I just hear Roddy. <laughs> I just hear Roddy going. <laughs> That's Roddy McGee, who's a legend. There go. I just hear him in the room. Glad to pass out. I don't want to do that again. We can't get out. I was really sorry. We can't get out. <laughs> so I got this. Alive.
Hi guys and welcome to this week's In It To Win It The show where we'll be phoning people to see if they're in for a chance of winning a £10 Alakazam voucher Yeah I know, yeah it's good eh? That's what they yeah. got to say? Uh, they have got to, well they've got to answer the phone, hey Alaka fam all right. Oh, if, no. Hi, Alec Fam. No, you won't win. No. Or howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, you you won't win. You have to answer, hey, Alec Fam. All right. So if you've never entered this before, okay, there is a list under the vlog, obviously in the comments, and if you put in there, in it to win it, then we will choose you, and then you get a chance to. Uh, but they've play. got to put their name, not their user ID, haven't they? got to put your real name otherwise we don't know who you are we would be looking for the wrong person on the back end right and don't put your telephone number on the vlog all right make sure it's on your account but don't put it on the vlog all right um, unless you want people phone you up but don't do it all right don't do it so we're gonna uh, this is a little bit of a surprise one today all right um, I guess I'm allowed to tell them what we're gonna do first yeah no. so for those of you that <laughs> for those of you that don't know Peter and Harry are working hard, or were working hard in Ma uh, Magic Paul, Live. Hardly working. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, Pete, all right? I, it weren't me that said that. Um, but they, they've been at Magic Live. Um, Stand has been really popular. Uh, people have been coming over, including some quite famous magicians. <sighs> yes. Yeah, uh, I'm sure you'll hear more about that. Um, but it's, it's been great. They've had a really good time. Um, and uh, we thought it would be really good if we gave Harry a call. Um, no, we were trying to work out what time it is. It's going to be early morning in Vegas, right? Yeah. So, um, how do you reckon he's going to do, Emma? Um, I hope he doesn't swear. <laughs> <laughs> right? How do you think he's going to do? I very much doubt you'll get an answer. Yeah, I don't think we'll get an answer. I don't think we'll get an answer. But we're going to do it, all right? So, we're going to remain quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to phone him up now. We, will, we are going to do a proper one of these as well. We will be phoning the customer as well, but we're just going to see if um, Harry can answer the phone and say... Hello, Alika fam. Alika's, hey. is that it? Hey, Alika fam. Hey, Alika fam. Hey, Alika fam. Hey, fam. <laughs> All right, so we ready? Yep. Yes. Yeah, okay. So here we go. Oh, it's not a morning person. Welcome to the EE oh. voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you've called is not available. Oh, Please leave your message after the tone. After you've finished your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, please press 1. Oh, oh Harry. Oh, Harry. Were you having a lay-in? Oh, <laughs> Harry, this is Andy. Jenny. Mom. Emma. <laughs> From Alaka Sam, and we phoned you on In It to Win It, and you didn't answer. So sorry, mate. Right, you don't get your Alaka Sam voucher, um, but remember, you can enter next time. So um, <laughs> that's um, yeah, really sad for you there, mate. Uh, but uh, we'll see you when you get back. All right. So this is Andy saying goodbye. 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 And goodbye from Jamie as well. We'll see you soon. Ah, oh, so he didn't do it. What a shame. Option B. You could do option B. We could do option B. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Okay. All right. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to go and dial Peter's number in and okay. get it ready. All right. Okay. So uh, it didn't work with Harry. So we are going to try with Peter as well. All right. Mm -hmm. So how do you think Peter's going to do? I think he's going to answer. I think he's going to answer. I don't think he's going to say Alec Fam. I think he's going to go, no caller ID? Nah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so a couple of varied answers there. So uh, we'll give it a go, yeah? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. I 
Welcome to the oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, the person you've called is not available. Hey Loser. Pete. <laughs> hey Peter, this is Andy. Jenny, Emma. From Alakazam, we're just giving you a call for In It to Win It. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't win this time, but remember, you can enter for next time. Um, so we're, we're really sad about that. Um, just to let you know, though, um, Harry didn't answer either. So um, there we go. Um, still, you got till next time to play. So for now, that's bye from Andy. Bye from your wife. Bye from Emma. See you soon. Bye. Oh, didn't answer. Third time lucky. Fair time lucky. Yeah. So I'm going to choose a customer. All right. And then uh, we will see you soon. We're going to call the customer, see how they do. Remember, they've got our answer in it to win it. Oh, no, they've no. got our answer. Hey, Alec, a fam. Don't lost. It's made me laugh so much. <laughs> One of us had to do it, didn't we? Alec, a fam. Hello, Alec and Van. I know. I was just keeping you on your toes, the two of you. And he digs me out for saying... Well, normally what do it's... I say wrong? <laughs> normally it's me that does it wrong anyway. That's all right. That's all right. The, the, the audience has come to expect me to do it wrong because I do it wrong every week. So you, you only had one time to do it. So here we go. Oh, is that Paul? Who's that? It's Andy, Alakazam. Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. Uh, sorry. No, that's uh, that's all right. Um, you're you're obviously we've called you for in it to win it. Um, but you d you didn't answer correctly, unfortunately. So there's yes, I know. oh, bless you. So, but remember. Bye. There, there's going to be other times that you can enter, so, you know, keep on entering, mate, um, and, yeah, um, hopefully next time, yeah? Thank you, Andy. All right, then, mate, no worries. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. Take care. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh. Oh. I so sorry. Uh, do you know what? Hello, bud. Uh, Paul is, Paul is like a regular customer and he's so sweet. He really is sweet. Oh. But it's not the end. It's not the end oh, because no. he can enter again. Oh, yeah. yeah. So obviously uh, you enter in the comments underneath the video, right? Um, and you put in it. In Two. It, in it. Two. Win it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing my mind. Um, See, it's all gone to pot since um, the boys have been away. No, no, no. We've been doing fine. Yeah, don't don't give them a like big headed complex for when they're back or anything. What I meant to say is, look how much fun we have. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, remember you just come in underneath in it to win it. Don't put your put your telephone number. Make sure your number is on your account though. That is the important thing. And remember, when you answer the phone, you've got to answer the phone. So from next week, we've got a different game. <gasps> we have yes, which will be this thing behind me here. This is going to be slightly different, so what will happen is that each one of the cards that will appear on the board will have a number on the back, um, with the potential of you winning a prize, and there are some amazing prizes up for grabs. Do they still enter like before? They still enter in before uh, by putting the comment in it to win it. Um, with their real name? With their real name, not the telephone number. All right, and uh, each of the cards will have a number on it. You basically, when we phone you up, uh, you get to choose one of the numbers and then we'll reveal the prize. They don't get caught off guard. Yeah, time. yeah, and be warned, there will be some non-prizes in there, all right? And by non-prizes, I mean there will be fails. So what sort of prizes are we looking at? Uh, we're Still looking at vouchers? We're or? looking at vouchers of different values. Uh, we're looking at, um, I believe, giveaway of products. So yeah, so you, you understand that there will be lots and lots of different prizes to win, but there will also be plenty of opportunities on here to not win anything, all right? So there'll be more cards on the board and yeah they'll be numbered so that's it for today that's the last time that we'll be doing it this way uh, possibly not forever but this way certainly until we decide differently <laughs> but from next week it's going to be like this all right so that's it we're done for today so good okay. it was good yeah. <laughs> so that's it for in it to win it see you later Ta -ta.
Hello guys, uh, I am joined by the lovely Emma, who has uh, been roped in again to help me out with the trick. I'm so sorry. Um, I love it. But let, let's, um, let's try this out. Uh, it's going to start off, there's, there's nothing else in the box that's yep. not important, but there we go. Oh, um, well, that was but it. we do have <laughs> here the uh, four aces. So before we come to what I want to show you, let me just show you something that just uses these. There are just four aces here. Yep. Uh, as you can see, there's no other cards. Uh, now, if I was to say to you, Emma, how would you turn over a card? You'd probably turn it over like that. Yeah. Right? Uh, some people, they turn it over end for end. But I often get asked about the design on these cards. And you'll notice that these two circles just hit here, right? Yeah. And that's for keeping your finger and thumb on. See, if you do this and you twist, what you actually do is you actually turn the Ace of Hearts face up. Right? But it only happens if you put finger and thumb there and twist. And if you do that, then the Ace of Clubs <gasps> turns face up. All right, so that's the uh, that's two aces. So remember, I did this, I twisted, and then the ace of Whoa. diamonds turned face up. That only leaves us uh, actually the uh, the ace of uh, spades, is it? Yeah. And remember, all the cards start face down. You can do this. Just take your finger and thumb, put it on top and bottom. That's it, and that, and then twist it in your hand. That's it, and then oh spread God. the cards. Yeah, and the ace of spades turns face up. It's really weird. Yeah, I know. That, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you something right. a little bit different because I quite often get asked the difference between uh, different forms of magic and what actually constitutes uh, being able to make the magic work. All right. So, uh, for instance, when you vanish a coin, sometimes people do this. They wave their hand. They snap things. They say a magic word. Those sort of things. They are things that incite the magic to happen. Okay. So we're going to try this out. Uh, with the four aces and also uh, this deck of cards just here, all right? So I'm going to leave some uh, cards uh, just on here. Uh, in fact, we'll put some cards there. Um, we are going to put some cards here. Um, I'm going to put some cards here and the rest of the cards can go here. Mm -hmm. Now it's important that you see that the aces are out yep. and that we're going to bury these. So keep me fair here. We'll take the ace of clubs uh, and we're just going to bury that in there, yeah? Yeah. The Ace of Diamonds, we're going to leave just there. The Ace of Hearts, that goes down into that packet just there, and the Ace of Spades in that packet just there. Yep. Fair? Okay. So the first bit of magic, right? Um, so well, the first type of magic, when you say a magic word, let's say Alakazam, for example, when you snap your fingers, you get a moment of, let's say, surprise. Alakazam. That's quite surprising. I think you'd agree. Right, we've got a seven turn face up, but in its own right, that's actually not very good, all right, when you think about it, uh, even though we have another seven there, unless you count seven, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you get an ace. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, the first time was a surprise. Let's try uh, something a little bit more magical, all right? Uh, something a bit more direct. So uh, you can do this bit, say, Alakazam, snap your fingers. Alakazam. Perfect, right? And if you do that, uh, an ace turns face up, right? Now that card is face up there, uh, the ace of diamonds, right? Um, of course, you could do a magic spell if you want. You could do a magic spell, right? Um, and there's nothing more magical than maybe spelling uh, a card's name, for example. Okay. So let's go for the ace of hearts, all right? <clears throat> so if you spell uh, as ideal, we're going to spell ace of hearts. So that'd be a, a C, C, E, very good. O F H E A R T S. Arts, yeah. Okay, now I don't want you to think that I've got control over any of these aces. There's no aces there, all right? Um, and there's no aces here as well. But we're going to try this out uh, in a slightly different way for the last ace, all right? Because you know, people might love magic, but they know more about playing cards by games, games they play like Pontoon and Bridge and Snap and Poker. You know, poker's quite um, popular. So we're gonna try something uh, slightly different here, and we're gonna try and mix it up by allowing you to make some choices right towards the very end, all right? Okay. So, um, do you wanna do me a favor? Do you wanna cut off about uh, 15 to 20 cards from there and just place them on my hand? Excellent, okay. Um, Actually, let's go for just a slightly more. I think that was just a little bit less than 15. So just a, a slightly more. Perfect, okay. So we don't really need these, but I am gonna just take out every other card like this. Every other card we're gonna take out like this. This is kind of like an elimination procedure, right? Uh, every card's gonna come out. Uh, normally I would have a little monkey walking around at this moment with a, uh, a hat. Trying to decide on. Uh, point to one of the cards. 
Very good, and you got the ace. See, I said it would be down to luck, didn't I? Oh well, my actually, god! Well, actually, right. I think you're more, I think you're more lucky than uh, what I initially thought because you remember I say that lots of people they love magic, but they like to be able to know how to maybe cheat at something like cards. Well, an ace of spades is good in a hand, right? I mean, it's it's as good as a king, right? Which is as good or better than a queen, which is better than a jack, which is better than a ten, and that no actually is a really way. good hand. Uh, a hand that I'm sure any poker player would be glad to receive, um, and also a winning hand. So, well done, you, Emma, and uh, thank you to you guys. Wow. Just making a drink. What do you want to know? A mint tea, if you must. Um, right, it's lunchtime. Not as exciting as Harry's again. Although we've got these. Where do these come from? Ben just bought them. Ben? Wow, wonderful. Ben. So, I have got a roll. And Buddy has got... Oh my God, did I remember his carrot? I think I forgot his carrot. Oh, oh I did. I forgot your carrot, Buddy. You can have a bit of apple with me later. Look, do you know what this is? No, nope. go on. Coronation chickpea. It's very nice. Yogurt, curry powder, <laughs> mango chutney, chickpeas. What do I look up? See, I was listening to the Darren Brown podcast. It's halfway through, which is amazing, by the way. Well done, Jamie. What am I looking up? Alakazam. So look at the, the vlog, the last vlog. Yeah, what vlog? Where do I look for? Alakazam? Yeah. <laughs> That's the company that you founded. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Someone said, Tom Rolfe, best dad v lad ever. Next vlog should be Arsenal facts. Arik says, oh no, ha ha ha. I just looked at my voicemail and saw the one from you guys. Unfortunately, I've... I have all unknown numbers blocked due to all the spam calls I get. Oh, he must have been one of the people that he called. Oh, unlucky. Um, Doug Heath, great vlog, guys. <laughs> A nice performance by Andy, changing the black cards into the fours. <laughs> Four fours. In it to win it, Doug Heath. Are we doing one of them today? Yep. Oh, fabulous. Hope somebody wins. Gary Diver, what a great life you all have. Brilliant. In it to win it, Gary Molson. Are all these people going to be in it then? They're the people that yeah, we choose. Oh, okay. People. And you put them in as random adjudicator thing to you. Mm. Oh, lovely. Andy Cooper, funniest dad v dad lad ever. What was that one then? Oh, was that the questions? That was the quiz. The quiz from when we <laughs> oh, done yeah, the pub that was quiz. The quiz. <laughs> oh, Harry didn't like it, I guess. No, okay. Magic. Well, we've had lots he of people kept, he kept his good. emotions really well hidden, though. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> not. <laughs> oh, no, he's terrible, isn't he? Gosh, Magic Rev, just to rub it in, Harry, I got all the questions in the quiz right, apart from the bonus point about the US flag and the bridge in the last question. So I would have beat Pete and I wasn't at the quiz. Very good. Um, Paul Edger, another fabulous vlog, always great and in it to win it, Paul Edger. Oh, you never know. Listen to the phony. Um, I'd say the dad team deserves the gold medal, in it to win it. Oh, has Harry won any? One or two. Oh, he really does. He's quite a, a sportsman, but a bad sportsman. In it to win it, Darren Lawbury. In it to win it, Jeremy Bradshaw. And Colin Jones, can't wait for the live launch. In it to win it, Colin Jones. Birthday week, practice in the act. You guys picked for me. Thank you guys. Keep up the great work and enjoy Magic Live. Hope to see you at the London Magic Convention later this year. Aww. Um, H got stitched up. He probably did actually, because Peter was at the quiz the night before, so he knew all the answers. Um, excited for the new unlimited effects and live launches coming soon. Well, to tell you what, they've been so well received in Vegas and they've sold sold out of a lot of them, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Crispy Pete, the cut just around the corner from my London office, so we'll have to keep an eye out for the next time you're there. Oh, is that where you're done filming? Oh, okay. What was that? trick that Ben did absolutely superb would love to see that on Unlimited well funny fact is he's literally just left and he's just filmed it for Unlimited hasn't he and he's done it on me and Emma if this is the one he's talking about he's done two tricks yeah. on me and Emma and it was amazing yeah and that's all the Q&A's if you don't mind I'm going to eat my lovely chickpea sandwich which actually I tried a bit earlier and it's minging but I haven't got anything else so <laughs> My fridge is bare because Harry and Peter are away. Literally, I haven't bought any food. I've been li living on crumbs. Me and Harry share a, me and Buddy share a carrot. 
So hence I've not got a start. Oh look, don't mention the carrot. Oh <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'll give you a corner of my bread. It's time for Dad versus Lad. We can't tell those people now, but look, we picked on there, we got this one here, which is, look, that one, which is Louisiana pepper, nice, which says heat with a zesty lemon pepper tan, so not too hot, then this one, which is mango fire, and that one, which is the habanero nuclear or something like So we've got... One medium. Oh, yeah, on one, medium. On. one medium. One medium. Right, let me pass it to you. One medium and two extra hot. And every time we were ordering them, she went, boy, they're hot. Yeah, I mean, so we will be the judge of that, won't we? So, we're going to do a hot wing challenge. We've got bonus ones as well, so we can pop them straight in. And I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Noel's was stout, although there is another. Well, no, we'll, we'll get try and get him. Yeah, we'll... we will. But there's the hot wing challenge. We obviously got a bottle of water as well. I'm looking forward to it. There's Noel and Roddy. We got enough for you, so, by the way. Brilliant. Right. Yeah, we've got enough for both of you. Nice, and I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to bring you more. I love, uh, I love a bit of madness. Um, and I love a bit of madness. I'm saying this right now, but um, I have no intentions of eating them. But let's you, see what happens. We got you well, we've got eight of each, so we yeah. can't eat eight of each. And Roddy did say he hasn't eaten today. Yeah, so he's a little bit peckish. And what he wants is for his eyes to burn out of his head. Hey, here we go. Let's take that back. Got, got Noel his. Oh, that's gone a bit wonky. Let me straighten that up before we get into it. Got Noel his uh, diet coke. Right. So we need to set this up. So it can see us. So that's last. We do this one last. <coughs> so, so we both in? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's line them up. Which one was first? This is the hot one. That one first, then that one, and then that one. Right. So this one first. Boom, and then that one back in the middle. Okay. That one. So, so that is the buffalo one. Right. No, are you ready? Hold on. Let me have a look. I'm having a look. Right. Give it a sniff. So this one's the second one, and this is the hottest of the hot. Roddy, I'm going to give you a full just in case. Them <laughs> ones are medium, alright? Right. right. Harry? No as well. I mean, I, I can't, t I'm trying to take this down your loop, but it just stays late. And we will show you. Well, wow, look at the steam, they might be well off, other hot. No. They're medium, yeah, These ones. are, these are the just lowest of the lot. Do you see your faces first? I suppose that's the whole idea, isn't it? You burn the whole lot in? Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Oh, Not hot. Uh, I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm okay. Not hot. Go on They're then. Good, I'm oh, going to try one now. Nice. You two can have them. Right. They're your level. Yeah. You good though, isn't it? It's not hot, is it? A little... A little ticker. They're so cool that we're going to leave those for Roddy and yeah. Noel because it trick, trick, isn't boys. worth us wasting our time. Exactly. Well, honestly, we knew that. So we got one, two out of four. Now these are both four out of four, but this one is the one at the top of the menu. This is still a four out of four, same we'll as that. That's the hottest one, yeah? Yeah, but they did say with this one, be careful, that's really hot as well as this one. That's a new short. But so, we want to wait until Roddy's back, just to yeah, make sure we're in. So yeah, that's good. Don't oh, tell me that. Don't tell me that's hot. No, fuck. Right, are you. Oh, ready? it doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Nolly. And they're literally ain't any heat there at all. Oh. Right, Harry. Let's go for a proper sauce. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Harry, that's hot. This is the oh, mango one. Right. Which is still four out of four. It Mango, so you should have some sweetness to it. It does say go on a tropical island volcano. So we'll Ready? See. Yeah. I would say they're 
Oh, that. That is hotter than that. Yeah. They are hot. That's hotter than yes, that. Without a yes. doubt. Without a doubt. I'm alright. Without a doubt. No, you're going to try one of these? Uh, I'm going no, but thank you very We're going to have another one of these? Yeah, alright. Good, they're good. I love like a boneless wing. Yeah, <coughs> that's a double whammy. They are hot. <laughs> I don't think it was. Not sure. No, I... Right. Maybe it's just got a bit of sweetness in it. Yeah, right? cheers. Oh, man. Woo! We got to have a bit of this. Oh, you, you guys are much braver. They are, they are hot. They are hot. No? Um, I'm going to go with uh, yummy. Look at him. He's like this. He's like one bite. <laughs> I'm on fire. I'm having to drink the ice water out of my cup here now. They are. They are ooh, they've, got, they've got a kick. An after kick for sure, man. I feel like we should do one with a natural heat challenge. They, these are nice though. I'm going to have one of these. I, I really should because I'm trying to save myself, but I'm starving. I need to get right. a taste of those. Right, here goes. Here's the big these, ones. These this are is the, the hottest ones on the menu. So we'll I'm going to go for a chunky monkey. Do a double. Double, double. Yeah, all right. We'll do double, double. We'll do it's two of them. It. Yeah, but it's putting them in your mouth, isn't it? Well, yeah, not at the same time. No, we've done two of the other ones. Not at the same time. No, no. You ready? Right. Yeah. Less sweet. This is more of a hot wing I like. Better flavour. Nothing. No, I don't mean. It's a don't. Wing roll, but it's not. They're giving us the wrong buttons. Massive out. Yeah. I mean, that's test up. Pines in. Who's so, going to have a go? So these are hotter than noise? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Well, I thought that was too hot, and you guys were like, that's fine, that tastes like nothing. Made My gums are still burning from that one. No, I'm going to regret it. Hang on. Let me get the camera around. I'll, I'll, I'll Come on. I'll have a little battle one, right? Take, uh, take one for the team. I'm going to. There's no, there's no kind of knife here, hold on. I'm going to take a little bit of one. Come on, I need to swear. Right. Now are you going to have the other half? No. <laughs> We'll, we'll take the camera off you now. Uh, Are you going to have the other half? No. No. No, have the half. Just, just the half. Just think what this means, seriously. I am in This is a good team building. You, no, want, no, no, no. you want to do more on your social. I do. I this, do. This, <laughs> this is the thing that will go viral. Oh. <laughs> this will be good content. Oh, no. Roddy is Roddy's like 100 right. times tougher than I am. Right? I'm going nowhere near. Just it. look, there's half there. Yeah. It's okay for you. <laughs> it's got bones in there. <laughs> it's got a hole, be on fire. <laughs> I'm, I almost want to sort of drink the sauce of the last one. Oh. Can I dead that day? Well, have, have. No. No more. No, come I on. It's like, just half. Now, I'm impervious to peer pressure because I have never actually had a friend group, so I'm never actually. <laughs> So peer pressure is never actually to move. Right, right, okay, me and Harry are gonna finish them off. Uh, peer pressure totally works on me. Oh man. I, I'm trying to eat a bit of this thing. Like, that's fucking mental. We're like the three best friends that anyone could have because we all take part. Yeah. I know. That's the way I'd love to have a little gang. Are we in shot? Oh my god, look at the size of that one. Yeah, that's a fat one. We'll have to split that in half. So I'm even gonna put extra sauce on there. How, how, how's this happening? Look at you, the two just like non plastic. Non messing. They're good, but maybe another day if we walk past somewhere, we see what's the hottest one you've got. It can't be wings though. It's a chain restaurant. I mean, they're, they're hot. They are spicy, don't get me wrong. But they're not like. 
Det er arm. Det er arm, der er hvor langt fisk er med. Det er arm, der er arm. Det er arm, der er arm. Det er arm, der Yeah. Harry's going to cool himself down now. With a mango chutney. I've got a chutney one. Have a little bath. Let's go. Let's go. I'm constantly impressed with all of you. It's like my colleague, all very impressed. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this little fella here, I don't know if you know him, David Copperfield, yeah, bought, bought a low key and an extractor and was bringing people back to the stand the next day to see it. Brought his son back to see it. Honestly, honestly, he loved it. But we couldn't show it to him the second time because we sold our dem copy. I did like an idiot. Yeah. I didn't realise. I told um, you not to sell the dem copy. Well, I didn't realise. I thought, look, this guy wants it. He's in Vegas. We're in Vegas, so let me just make his make his convention. It would have been the best thing he bought there, so I got to give it to him. Isn't I? Really. I think they got two extractors. Yeah. Honestly, it was so good, but the fact that he was bringing people over to see it is unbelievable. I mean, that just shows how good it is, you know. So that was low key and extractor. Sticks we sold out of, which is obviously live on the website now. So thank you, anyone who picked one up. You are going to absolutely love it. It was, it was just, it looks like real magic. When you're there, like watching Eric do it, it looks like real magic. We had people, so many helicopters coming over. Um, yeah, literally, we saw Eric Goody, it looks like real magic, it's sublime. Some of the routines were incredible, and we had people coming over saying, I've been told I've got to see this like hot rod. It's hot rod to the next level. It's no longer counting, weird counts, none of that stuff. It's all justified, there's no weird counting, it's amazing. And the routines, so visual. Longer routines, shorter routines, routines for social media, routines that will stay on your spectator's phone. There's literally something for everyone, which is amazing. And that is in stock in our UK and our USA store, okay? The rods have been designed from the ground up to Eric's specifications. And honestly, it's just sublime. So we did sell out of those. Um, and we did have a few dealers coming up to us asking to get some, but we, just, we, haven't, we literally haven't gotten it. So I'm sorry about that, we can't have any. But, so now, we're here on the strip. We're gonna be doing a little bit of filming, some brand new tricks. And honestly, I cannot wait. I will say, we both got a little bit of a sniffle because of the air con. It's unbelievable how cold it is sometimes in that room, but it's, honestly, you watch, you just got country music being blared out, like some live singers, and it's just, we're here out, I mean, New York, New York's a place to be. You've got such a good view of everything. It's really good, really good. But yeah, the convention was incredible. We got to meet so many cool people. We got to meet people like John Bannon, you know, David Blame was walking around, Teller was walking around, you got Chris Funk, you got in it. Who, who else? David Copperfield, you got just yeah, uh, Greg Wilson, Wilson Arpel Wilson, Greg Wilson, you got Brad Henderson, Brad Henderson. yeah, so many, so many just legends. Yeah, so many legends in Magic that are just literally walking around. David Williamson walking around, Amar coming over, uh, Michael Amar, supposed to. Can you believe that? I spoke to Michael Amar. He's actually like a definition of magic, that guy, honestly. But yeah, so we got a few people that are going to be on the podcast, which is amazing. The vlog, um, obviously, we'll talk about them on the vlog. But yeah, it's just unbelievable. So, no, that was your first Magic Live with Trick Trick Boom. How did you find it, honestly? Absolutely exhausting is the, is the easy answer. Um, yeah, it's just a mad few days. I thought Blackpool, I'm match fit, or as match fit as I can be for anything. But then this is... This is different gravy. It is insane heat, uh, tons of people, way less than Blackpool, but still tons and tons of people. And it's just it's just brutal. But it was so great to meet everyone. And loads of people had love for Mini Book and then want to see the new stuff as well. And um, yeah, just like afterwards, you get a real buzz meeting people. Also, you get to see loads of your heroes. At Blackpool, you get to see the famous magicians that are in the, uh, yeah. in the, the that are booked and also, found another one uh, famous magicians are booked but magic live every third person is oh i've got his dvd at yeah. home yeah it's just every it's, it's not just the acts that are booked it's a 80 percent of the people you go oh he's great i know yeah. who he is there was such a good hype around true to boom because they've got obviously you've got not i would say yeah niche products it's very quirky ideas that i probably just have a smack around the face in it like when you're watching it it's just like we're so the, good yeah we're in the cartoon game we want fun novel tricks we are Never, I assume, never going to come up with just a good old fa like I don't know triumph with yeah. like not there's anything wrong with that something like that but like we want if it is triumph it'll be with yeah. cats and dogs or something like that proper madness one. yeah it's honestly so good and Roddy did you enjoy it? About hot. Is it? A, oh. It's a little bit hot in it. A little bit. But you've enjoyed oh, it anyway. I have. It's been fantastic. Good in it. And you've enjoyed little holes. Yeah. Yeah, you know who doesn't enjoy little holes? Hey. It'd be mad not to. Right? Exactly. Yeah, so honestly, so I got a video. 
No, I got a performance of Minibook. I'll upload, if you guys have, you might, you would have seen Minibook, but I'm going to upload a video anyway on our socials of Minibook. I'm Roddy, uh, performing it, which was amazing to a gentleman who lost his mind. So, yeah, thank you so much. But that was the end of Magic Live, guys. Dad, did you enjoy it? I loved it. Good, isn't it? It's always good fun. Always good fun. But, guys, I thank you. I know. Next year, we will be there. All right? So, thank you so much for your support. Anyone who come over and said hello, anyone who picked anything up, thank you so much. We'll see you guys. Oh, go on. Yeah, obviously, I forgot about that, actually. Roger Chico de Costa supplying the goods. Honestly, I literally had the fattest burrito. How nice was that burrito? Well, I was allowed a uh, You had more than you had two bites, and then no more. All right, it was so good. But Roger, comment down below the size of that burrito because Dad had two bites. I finished it straight off. It was so good. And quesadillas and tacos, so good, my friend. But thank you so much. Exactly the fuel we needed on the last day. So guys, thank you so much. It's the end of Magic Live, but we are going to be looking at doing more conventions all across the globe. So thank you so much. If you've got a cool convention you want us to attend, let us know down below, and we may be able to attend. Thank you so much. See you later. Down the lane.